This one's cut away through cover, and that's how slow this pitch is. Short outside off stump, and it didn't have to be cut square of the wicket. It just sat up and said, hit me. Well, it just goes to show you how good a pitch this is. He had all the time in the world, Matty Hayden there. And he's looking to actually to whack it through point, but he was so quickly onto it, and he's just hit through extra cover, downwind, down the hill. And he's off to a fly. Fantastic player, Matty Hayden. Strong, fit. Well, this one does take the edge. They'll probably get two here. Matthew Mott's in the second gully. And perhaps if he uh, had the third slip, it may have been a chance, but uh, I guess that's a sign of hope. Pull shot, and that is safe. Just a few bounces. He picked it up nice and early to Jimmy Ma, and he takes that tally to 15 for himself now. Hayden's on 13. Well, you can bowl those all day there. Colin and uh, that's where Jimmy Mara will keep hitting them. It's a track that uh, that's not going to favour Colin Mill, as you said, 37 years of age. So I think uh, the time's come really for he should be bowling off spinners. Come on, right from the word go, and uh, that's a pretty easy uh, bit of pie there for uh, Jimmy Mara. A uh, short, wide, and hammered. Easy meet for a player in form. Matthew Hayden is. Well, that's huge concerns for the Vicks because the 11th over the morning and uh, they've punched some balls off the back foot and they've all, and to hammer a ball in front of point for four so easily off you when you've only picked two quicks, that's beautifully played. That's uh, indicative of the pitch. So I wouldn't be, surp I wouldn't be surprised that uh, you'd see uh, two spinners operating on the first morning well before lunch today, Terry. Sweeps. He timed that very well, did Matthew Hayden. Swept away for four. Well, that was a shot in India that he got so many runs from. Uh, anything that's a little bit short or even outside the off stump, he's, he's unorthodox. I mean, I don't know what they taught him when he went away for his clinic, but uh, this ball's not such a bad ball, and he's whacked that away outside the off stump. I mean, if a young bloke played that in, uh, in an under-14s game, you'd say, well, it's a slog. But he's, it makes it hard for you to bowl to him when he uh, plays unorthodox like that. Certainly is becoming a batsman's game, isn't it? I don't think there's a pitch around the country at any venue giving too much to the bowlers at this, this stage of the season, early days. Well, October, Terry, October's such a bad month. The grass hasn't really come on, so it hasn't got the bite in the wickets. It's always a bit of a slow sort of... We saw Miller and Warren operating with so many overs in Adelaide last week, but it was they weren't getting results. It was turning, but it was turning slow. And you just haven't got the wickets... The grass hasn't really come on yet. Again, that sweep shot. It's gone at great pace. Too quick. Way too quick. Matthew Innes couldn't get around to cut it off. And it is Victoria in trouble. Queensland, none for 41. Worked nicely down to fine leg. And it has gone fired. That's going to run away for four runs. Runs downhill down towards that southern part of the ground. All we've got to do is make contact. And there was good placement in it. Yeah, loose ball again from Ian Harvey. Just trying to warm up here. Nice little deflection down the hill. And it's very, it's quite steep down that hill in the wind. And that's his sixth boundary. Nicely driven. That's where the gap was. Matthew Elliott came in from that position. And straight away, Dean, it looks like he's going to go back to it. Well, even you would have hit that one for four, Keith. I thought the way, he, look at the way he threw that up there and just beautiful timing. And, and I think Matty Alley is quite happy that it didn't hit him in the shins. And that's a full toss. Not a great start for Shane Warne. The eyes lit up and away it goes for the boundary. Nicely driven straight down the ground. Now that should go over the rope. No problems whatsoever. Up the hill, beautifully timed. Well, he's put that one away in front of square leg. Four runs. 
Yes, things are tough out there at the moment. You're talking before about the leg spinner into the breeze, Dean. Straight. Beautiful. Oh, through the gap. First and second slip. Wonder whether it went to his bad side because you're right, maybe a big flick. You would expect. Oh, in the air. Safe though. Just a couple of bounces into the fence. Miller couldn't get round. He got into position very quickly there. Now, Colt Miller's down at fire leg, and I'm not sure if he saw that when it went high into the air. It goes very high off the top edge. Miller, just for a moment, hesitated. Didn't pick it up, or else he may have turned that into a two. Foolish, pitched up and put away by Jimmy Ma. That will break the ice a touch. Oh. Huge swipe straight over the top of mid on. That is a big hit for six. And to bring up his 50 in spectacular fashion as well. Just a little quick nod of the head. So he goes through mid-on, superbly too, straight along the ground. Fleming again does the chasing. He won't beat the ball, he does just. Good chase by Fleming. And they'll come back for three. Hayden's coming quickly. And got back easily in the end. Beautiful on drive again. The second of this over off Innes. Has this got the pace to get to the boundary? Fleming again the chase. This time the Red Cherry wins. And there was the man. Can't beat it. He got it very fine. And finally couldn't get around in time. Innes. Well, that was a poor delivery. And well played too. Watched it right on the bat. Didn't try to hit it too hard. And that down that area there on that half forward flank there, if you like to call it, in that pocket. It's very, very hard to stop. Well swept. Beautiful shot from Hayden there. Wasn't quite on, but he's in such terrific form. So these are, that's the sort of shot, and the shot off Warren a couple of overs ago, that he played in India when he had such a terrific series oh, over there. Well, I know their uh, their tactics are still of just bowling off stump and just outside, but surely they should be having two guys behind square or one on deep square because the tactics of Maher and uh, Hayden have been to sweep. Bit of a swat from Matthew Hayden. He's looking for one. It went so quickly, Jimmy Maher sent him back. Now, this will be four runs. Terrific battle in the previous over between Warren and Hayden. Now hit straight down the ground. That is a beautiful shot from Matthew Hayden. That's going to clear the side screen, I think, for six. Not only the rope, but I think it nearly went right over the side screen. Let's hope it hasn't gone out of the ground into Brunton Avenue. Well, that is an absolutely huge six. He hasn't hit this as hard as he could either. He's just let the wind timed it and let the wind do the rest got it up high sweeps it now matthew in down there will he get to it and he has so jimmy ma you could sense that the pressure was mounting on him and what a way to get a wicket great catch down at backward square leg by matthew innes so jimmy ma denied what would have been his second hundred against victoria looking for the sweep shot and eventually caught by Matthew Innocent hung in the air for some time and a good catch by the Victorian left arm speedster that little bit of extra bounce um, from Colin Mills brought that about and the athleticism of um, one for 176 as Jimmy Marth leaves the over well and did that turn I mean, that could be two balls in a row for a Miller that have turned 
over the top of the infield. It's well clear. And we'll go for four. It was up in the air for some time. Use of the feet over the top of mid on again. He's hit a couple of sixes. And we have a few bounces. Now Hayden races to the 90s. Full face of the bat there. There's his century. And what a century it is. In fact, it's his 50th now in the first class arena. 50 hundreds, the half centuries of centuries. And not too many challenges in making that hundred today. Almost run out in the first over. That was perhaps his greatest challenge. Lovely shot. No better shot today than off the batter Matthew Hayden there. Fleming's kept it tight the early part of the over. Just a little bit of width and Hayden seized upon it. Well, Keith, I've only just got one question here. Why did he run after he hit it? Nice shot again from Hayden. That should once again reach the boundary. Short boundary out there. Difficult one to protect. Wouldn't have mattered if he'd been back another 10 metres. It would have still gone over the rope. Obviously, he's not learning. He's uh, hitting another boundary here and still running. It's a change-up delivery, a slow ball, but he picked it. I don't think he got it as quite as well as the last one, but it went up the hill there for another four. So you just get the feeling now that Hayden going on to 110, that he's just cruising here a bit just to get himself in. He's got another 12 minutes before T. And look at that. That's a good sign there. Where the difference between Maddie there and probably Jimmy Mars. Jimmy Mars didn't let that many balls go, Keith. He's, Hayden is quite selective in what he does. Good delivery from Fleming. And away it goes. Over mid-wicket, four runs. So that brings up the 250 for Queensland for the Bulls. They've already got six points on the board already this summer against WA, and they're off to a splendid start here at Punt Road against Victoria. Tough on the umpire, that. What a catch! That is a super catch, Arnberger, a lightning quick, and he's on his way. Way second, can't believe it. He thought it was on the way to the fence. Well, we've been having a little bit of a shot in a, in a very friendly way, Jason Arnberger. He's been hit a couple of times by balls just like this. We saw him hit by in the shoulder by one. Look at this. Oh, now that is a wonderful catch. Hayden comes down, whops it over mid-off. Beautiful shot. Hasn't played too many of those of late. And the youngster down there on the hill tried to take the catch. Luckily, he didn't lay a hand on it. And bowled him. So the tactics of Matthew Elliott and the Victorians have brought about the downfall of Matthew Hayden. Hayden looking for the big drive. They'd kept him pegged down, and this is a big wicket. Certainly, that's uh, the key wicket, and it's a very big shot from Matthew Hayden there, being frustrated with that, not being able to score. And uh, Matthew Innes has bowled a straight one right through the gate. Out for 147, and Queensland 8 for 312.